All right. Well, thank you all for joining us. It's afternoon East Coast time. My name is Rebecca Armstrong, Assistant Vice President for Programs here at Raising a Reader. And I am so excited to share with you all today our uh, Super Summer Learning Adventures program. Um, this was a program that we started last summer. Um, not only did we start it in response to the pandemic and a lot of lost learning that was um, that we wanted to make up for, but this is part of our strategic plan that we have been thinking about for several years. And COVID gave us that um, nip in the bud we needed to make it come to fruition. So I'm so glad you all are here today. And if you have any questions, there's a lot of ways you can ask. You can feel free to put it in the chat box. Um, just open up the chat box and you can um, you know, just type it in which is fine. Uh, you can also just unmute yourself or I'll, I'll have uh, various times um, that I'll just stop and you can ask questions then. And of course, I've built in Q&A and discussion time at the end of today's presentation. Um, there aren't a lot of us, so feel free to uh, join in the conversation at any moment in time. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And I will first take you to the agenda for today. Um, even though this is just really information about our Super Summer Learning Adventures, um, we have some really exciting things. I wanna show you, uh, give you some sneak peeks of the activities in this program, um, of the components of the program and partnerships. And we're going to hear from one of our veteran affiliates. Um, her name is Michelle Burhorn from Solano, California. And she's gonna tell us about her experience with Super Summer from last year. So we have uh, a really packed agenda and I hope you will uh, get a lot out of our time together this afternoon. So about us, I see some new names uh, that have popped up and you might have heard about us through social media, you might be an affiliate, you might be a school, or maybe you're coming back to us after some time away, but just wanted to ground everyone and who raising a reader, who we are. Um, we are a nonprofit early childhood, so zero to eight, um, family engagement and early literacy nonprofit. And we really stand firm in our commitment to equity, diversity, inclusivity, and improving the lives of children all across the United States. We truly believe that strengthening families is the cornerstone of closing that opportunity gap among all of the children that we serve. Um, our goal is to maybe is to really create um, an equitable country for all of our children. You might have noticed from our classic red book bag program, all kids with a red book bag that said raising a reader, and we've had proven outcomes over the past 21 plus years that we've been in existence. What we've seen through our programs are increased literacy routines, increased and improved home literacy environments, children's literacy skills have been improved, their kindergarten readiness skills have been improved, and children's intrinsic motivation, that fire, that desire to want to learn more and, and to want to love and uh, enjoy reading. We work through so many types of different partners, and I added some partners just for today. Um, because I wanted to make sure, you know, our classic model, but also our new models, family shared reading and super summer can be implemented in a variety of settings. And this summer program, we need to include summer camps, um, employers, we've had several employers approach us, hey, can I get these for my staff? So we want to think outside the box and wherever there could be children that touch the lives of an adult, that's where raising a reader can be. So we've had our classic red book bag rotation for 21 plus years. And as I mentioned, um, innovating our, our offerings was really part of our strategic plan that we've been working on for the past couple of years. Um, of course, we started working on the strategic plan. We're doing a great job. And then there comes a pandemic and everything halts. And instead of halting everything we did during that time, we really did a listening tour of our affiliates around the country, our partners, other nonprofit organizations. And so community conversations, I just said it, our weekly town halls, we held 35 town halls just in the year of 2020 alone. We did online surveying as well as just talking to everyone we could. And here's what we found out. When we asked families themselves, caregivers, partners, we found out there were a lack of physical books in the home. Um, 
there was a desire for both print and digital. Digital was great and we all like held, you know, bonded with our computers over the past year, but then we also realized the need for having um, print materials as well. There was a desire for resources in home languages. There was so much in English and it was great, but there was every other language, there was such little information and resources in Spanish and other languages. Families were feeling isolated. They were just feeling, gosh, I can't even leave my home. I'm, I'm cut off from my school community, my work community. Um, there was a lack of connection between school and families. Um, and social emotional development of children. We were almost cut off from those resources that are provided in our educational settings. And of course our educators needed support, professional development. We said, here you go, learn how to teach on a computer. So these are, these are overall themes that we heard. And so we're gonna talk about what we did. And what we did was we wanted to create programs that had, had books so that there was access to those books. We wanted to make sure that books reflected children by languages, by um, demographics, by gender. We wanted to make sure the authors of those books were lived experiences authors. We wanted to align to kindergarten standards and common core. We wanted to also base ourselves on two things, the strengthening families protective factors framework and the social emotional wellness themes from CASEL. We, we knew we had to infuse those things into our programming. So with everything we heard and everything we knew we wanted, um, we created our Super Summer Learning Adventures program. And so I'm really excited to share that with you this afternoon. Sorry, I'm still letting some folks in. Great. So our Super Summer Learning Adventures program, we, this is a, um, this is a program that is not only going to develop and reinforce early learning skills, but we wanted to do these things, not just through you know, a, a standard workbook. We wanted to go beyond the workbook as much as possible, beyond the flashcards, which they all have a place. So we were thinking about activities that promoted investigation, critical thinking, um, meaningful family experiences. We didn't want this program, this backpack to just be given to a child and said, here, play with these things, but we wanted the activities to really involve the grown-ups and the children. So families get easy to use tools and resources that are supporting. Number one, we knew that children weren't enrolled in school like a normal school year. So there's a lot of learning recovery that has to take place and then school readiness. So even kids like mine who've been in hybrid probably have some catching up to do this summer. And I wanna make sure they hold on to every ounce of learning they've had this school year. We also wanted to make sure we were including wellness activities. We're forgetting a lot. We've heard of the quarantine 15 and, you know, not just for adults, but for kids. And so we thought, gosh, we really need to incorporate some wellness into this um, guide as well. And we created this program for mostly pre-K and school age children, but we have an infant and toddler option as well. Um, of course, they're not going to have activities with crayons, um, but they have their own set of books, a puppet and a, and a um, Raising a Reader Red book bag. So let me tell you all about the components of this program. And uh, you can see pictures of a lot of different things, but then I'll go into a couple of things as we go. The Super Summer Learning Adventure Pack. First, we're gonna start with our bilingual family guide. This is in English and Spanish, and it provides six weeks of daily learning activities that are aligned to Common Core standards. So families can do uh, an activity every day. They can do a handful a week. They can choose the cadence and they're encouraged to choose the cadence that they want to complete the activities. If they're into it, they're encouraged to keep on with it. If they're not into it, they're encouraged to try something new. We include four bilingual books and um, we really wanted to include a, a book that included social emotional themes, um, a nonfiction book, so each pack includes those four books. And what we're really trying to do is making sure that the kids receiving these all have the same set of books. So if you are doing activities with your children over the summer, um, whether it's summer school or summer program, they all have the same books for guided reading activities. We've partnered with Highlights and we have included High Five by Lingue Magazine. If you remember as a kid, you might've gotten a Highlights Magazine too. Um, so the, the magazine is included because that includes so many different genres and activities in one publication. And we know Highlights has a very high quality of um, content. 
we've included a World Reader digital book library. What we heard from our families is they not only wanted digital, but print resources. And even if we put 20 books in one of our summer bags, that wouldn't be enough to sustain you for the whole summer. So you have the four print books, your magazine, and then you have access to hundreds of books on your phone. So there's a free, it's free to go to. We include the QR codes in the family guide so families can have very quick access and is free for the whole, Kristen, the whole summer or the whole year. I'm going to put you on the spot. But you can come back to me when we, uh, when we talk specifically about World Reader. Um, so at least for the summer, you're going to have access to hundreds of books on a digital book library. We have magnetic letters for the refrigerator or baking sheet, crayons, and counting manipulatives. Um, we've partnered with um, Parent Core for an I Feel I Can poster that I'll talk about in a little while. A read camp, so a summer reading challenge. Special access to our family webpage. If you've not seen our family webpage, I encourage you to go. And then it's all enclosed in a drawstring backpack. And so I can show you that the backpack is on this page. You can see it right here. Um, everything is put in this Raising a Reader drawstring backpack. We have a couple other extra things this year that we didn't have last year. And uh, we have two add-ons. One is coming soon. So that will be to be determined. Um, but the other is a social emotional learning pack. So not only did we include social emotional themes in the main package, in the family guide, but we wanted to pull out just to address social emotional. So this has a family guide, it's about 25 pages, English and Spanish. And then it has a stuffed animal and we call him Ready Freddy the Bulldog. It's the Raising Reader Bulldog, Ready Freddy. And so this is a comfort item for the children. And this social emotional guide really helps parents understand and learn, tip, and give tips on ways that they can use Ready Freddy to help act out play role scenarios with their children and to help um, personify feelings to their children and really help um, be that guide. You know, sometimes you just need a puppet and kids can use it as a puppet or a comfort item. Um, the social emotional guide pack, you can add that on for $10. So the um, these packs, the Super Summer Learning Adventures, it starts at $50 per pack. And you can add on that social emotional for an extra 10. So it's either 50 or $60 and you get your choice of, of if you want to add on the social emotional learning path to it. So we didn't leave the educators out. I know school is out for many of you over the summer, but for many others, there's summer school programs, there's summer learning programs, there's year round school. So we didn't want to forget the educators, the home visitors, that person who's keeping in connection with families. So the educator pack, um, that has almost everything that's in the family pack. It doesn't have the journal or the let or the crayons because you really don't need those necessarily as the educator. You also get a puppet and a whiteboard set. So if you're doing virtual learning with the children and families that are receiving these packs, you can use your puppet, you can use your whiteboard, you can go on social media and do, you know, Miss Maya's story hour on social media uh, with the puppet and with the whiteboard and the books that are in your pack. You get uh, special online training and resources. And then what you also get with that is our Family Learning Circles app. And this is powered by Guardians Collective. So the Family Learning Circles app is an app where you can invite all of the grown-ups of the children that you're serving to download this app with a special code. And you can use it for conversations and reciprocal um, messages. So you can send out a message to your families that says, hey, everyone's going to, you know, come pick up your Super Summer Learning Adventures pack on June 15th at Solly Elementary School, and your families will get it. Once your families got their packs, you can say, okay, we're all going to start on July 1st. So make sure, you know, check out this activity. And all of the messages are preloaded for you, but you can choose to go rogue and do your own. That's great. Or you can just use the messages that we've already preloaded into the Super Summer um, Family Learning Circles app. So that was a lot in just 16 minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and take some time to give you a sneak peek of a couple of things that I'm really excited about for this Super Summer Learning Adventures. This is a sneak peek of the Super Summer Learning Adventures Guide. 
this guide is, <laughs> it's about 50 pages. It's a long guide, but it has a lot of tools. It's, we really try to monitor the amount of text we have. This is one of the most text heavy pages that you see here. Um, but we really wanted this guide to number one, help families understand that learning is a journey. It's not something that's gonna happen overnight and they can use it to, they can enjoy it, right? So that might mean that, hey, we're just going on a walk and we're gonna notice shapes of rocks or we're going to listen to music and play freeze dance. It doesn't always have to be sit down, pencil, paper, learning. We talk about what the tenets are of school readiness. So school readiness doesn't just mean that my kid knows all the ABCs because I'm doing flashcards or you know, that they can spell their name. There's, um, there's self-help skills, there's social emotional skills, um, fine motor skills, all of those things are involved in school readiness, whether it's for pre-KK or even heck second grade. Um, those are things that families can work on throughout the summer and throughout the whole year. I have about six activities that I'm going to show you, but I wanted to make sure I showed you that um, we've aligned every single activity with one of these five areas, language and literacy, mathematics, theme, kind of without the M because we already outlined mathematics, writing, and then health and wellness. So we wanted families to know what the competent learning competency was and activities they could do at home to support it. So if we go to writing, um, you know, writing is a process of using symbols and communication. Here's what you can do at home. You can play with Play-Doh, modeling clay or slime because that's helping build those fine motor, fine motor muscles, those little tiny muscles in your hands. Um, you can trace, raw, draw, or write letters. You can encourage drawing and scribbling and writing every day. These are super simple. These are things that I probably have at home. Um, we're not asking families to, you know, go buy things, go buy pipe cleaners or anything like that. They're, they're very things that are commonly found in the home. So this starts before all of the activities. And I have six activities to show you. These, these are the first, well, well, second two activities, and one is called whack a letter. And you just get some letters, your magnetic letters, and you put them out, and you can give your child a spatula. And as a parent, I can just name a letter, and my child can point to it, or they can be like my five year old son and hit the letter. I mean, the letter flew everywhere, but that's okay. He loved whacking the letter. It was like whack a mole when we go to the arcade. So I said the letter. Um, this is this time last year. Now he's going into first grade. So I'm going to say the sound for him. I'm going to say, which letter makes the b sound? And sure enough, he's going to hit that letter. Um, if he's even older, I might say a word. I might say the word cat, frog, dog. And he has to think of that initial sound and letter and then hit the letter. So each of these activities, you can see we start at the preschool age and we build it up to the second grade age. Might be too easy, might be too difficult, and we really encourage families to find their sweet spot. And the second activity is build a word. I won't go over every activity, I promise, but you'll see little Ready Freddy. Our Ready Freddy is named because he helps you be ready for school. So that is Ready Freddy, our bulldog, and he gives some messages. The messages are really for the grownups, and this message is take a little time for self-care each day, Maybe you wanna go for a walk, have a cup of tea or doing something you enjoy. So Ready Freddy gives some little reminders to us as grownups to just remember to take care of ourselves. This is a math activity and then a wellness activity. So this is um, talking about numbers and learning how to write numerals, the words, tally marks, or even creating something in a 10 frame. And then phone numbers. This is so important. I, you know, I can't tell you, I love this activity of putting, writing numbers on paper plates or pieces of paper, taping them to the wall and having my child type in, uh, punch in phone numbers for people that we know. Um, so that's a really fun activity. Again, you don't need materials. These are two other activities. Um, this is a poster called I Feel I Can. And this encourages asking your child how they're feeling today. You might be mad or sad or scared or happy. And then you can look at the different things that you can do to help you manage that emotion. And then this is a summer suites. This is a graphing activity where you're taking a tally, putting a little tally for everyone that in your family that likes ice cream, popsicles, watermelon, or lemonade in the summer. 
Our last two activities that I'm just gonna show you, we have over 40, gosh, I think there's almost 50 activities in this guide, is being a weather watcher, talking about what people who watch the weather are, they're meteorologists, um, a reminder to you that I feel like Ken poster, and then being an architect. So, but building things, and when you build things, that means you're an architect. We want kids to learn and aspire to some of these really great um, hobbies and later professions. So that's a sneak peek of just six activities. But I also wanted to show you at the end, we have learning resources. So we have little cards that you can cut out and we have the alphabet. This is an alphabet for English and Spanish. So all of the words, we really tried to make sure it was a word for, um, word for in English and Spanish with the same word. We have sight words for pre-K all the way up to first grade. So if you were interested in helping your child learn sight words, you can use your little magnetic letters to create them or just or write them in your journal. So we have sight words for three levels. And then at the end of the family guide, it has a certificate. And I love the idea of celebrating your accomplishments, celebrating, hey, that we've done a lot of fun activities in this guide. And I get to put this, I get to cut this out and put it on my refrigerator or on my wall in my room or wherever I want. So we not only have the child's name, but the grown up's name in the family because we want the whole family to be celebrated for doing such a good job with this, uh, with this program. So that we have that in English and Spanish. So that's just a little sneak peek. We also have some innovations that, I, that I'm really excited to share with you. I've touched on them a little bit so far. One is Read with Malcolm. So um, we have a great friend and Super Bowl champion, Malcolm Mitchell, who played for the Patriots. And he created a foundation called Share the Magic Foundation and has a program called Read Camp. And I liken this to your library's summer reading challenge. But what Malcolm does is, you know, families are participating in like literacy training, drills, practices. They're logging what they're reading on this website. And at specific intervals, they're getting rewarded with a certificate. Read with Malcolm is going to read a book. And so this is really great. Um, Family, parents will probably, grown-ups will probably have to do the logging for our youngest learners, but gosh, my kindergartner, my first, my second grader, they can probably go online and log the books themselves. And so it's just a really fun idea to get motivated, to track what you're reading, and set some goals for yourselves as families. So that's our Read with Malcolm partnership. Our other partnership, as I mentioned, is our partnership with World Reader. And so this is my digital book library. These are global titles. So these are titles from 64 different countries around the world. And all I have to do is take my phone and scan this um, QR code, and that'll give me a video on how to enroll. It's very easy. I think it takes less than 60 seconds. I've done it a few times. And then we've partnered with Parent Core, and we've included this poster. This is the English side, and then when there's a Spanish side, because we really want to help families be able to support their children with how they're feeling. You know, I know when my son gets upset, he just automatically says like, oh, you don't like me anymore, or he gets in trouble. And this poster, I can't wait to take it home because I really want to help show him, gosh, if you're mad, it's not that no one likes you. Why don't we try to count to five? Why don't we try to take a deep breath? So it's really giving very simple and concrete ways that children can manage their emotions. And then of course I mentioned highlights, High Five Bilingual Magazine. And this is printed just for Raising a Reader, just for this summer. So I'm really excited that this is included in the program as well. And then I also mentioned the Family Learning Circle that's part of the Educator Pack. And this is what it looks like. This is a conversation. I liken this to a Facebook group. The difference is with a Facebook group, it's not completely private. If Kristen and I are on the same Facebook group, I can go to Kristen's profile and I can see all the kinds of posts she's posting, what she did last weekend. I can know who her family is. So this is, is totally private because you can make up a name, you can create your own avatar and it is in, in, in an app form. So as the educator, I have already preloaded activities that I can push out to my families. I'm just gonna push this one out about Elmo because it's one of my choices of the day. And I can ask families, did, the, did you enjoy it? Um, did you have fun with it? And I can hear back from families. And one family might say, um, my kid loves it. 
One might say, we didn't do so well. And then another family might provide a tip. So this is a learning circle. It's building community. And it translates in real time in 13 different languages. So that's a real asset with the educator pack. Great. I've been doing a lot of talking for 27 minutes. So I'm going to take a break from talking and I'm going to invite uh, our dear friend, Michelle Burhorn from Solano County to talk about Super Summer and how she used it last year. Thanks, Michelle. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. I just wanted to um, send my appreciation to each one of you. Um, over the last uh, three years that we've been in partnership with, with Raising a Reader, I'm always so grateful to um, the work that you guys do and how responsive you are to our needs. Um, so thank you to, for, to your team or, uh, for inviting me here today. Hi, everyone. Um, so I'm Michelle Burhorn. I'm an early learning liaison uh, with Solano County Office of Education in uh, Fairfield, California. And we um, run several early learning programs uh, through our little early learning division um, at our County Office of Ed. And so over the last three years, with uh, very generous funding from our first five Solano Commission, uh, Children and Families Commission, we have been able to implement Raising a Reader to over a thousand uh, children that are in um, early learning settings like uh, center-based programs and family child care homes. So, of course, when COVID came to us, uh, you know, over a year ago, we immediately figured we needed to do something to pivot quickly because Raising a Reader had been so uh, well implemented in our county and we just didn't want to have that learning loss happen. So uh, lo and behold, grateful to the Raising a Reader team um, and their development of the, the, the Super Summer packs, we went ahead and ordered those packs um, to be distributed to our centers that work open um, and serving children, uh, including our family child care homes. And so um, we, we purchased about 500 of them and got those, got those out. We, uh, when they arrived to our, our offices, uh, of course we were still working remotely, but uh, went in to manage those orders. And as soon as we got them, we were so excited to get our own hands on the packs because we wanted to see what was in them um, and, and use them. Um, so that we knew what was in the packs and were ready to be prepared to support our providers with implementing them in their programs. So uh, we then allocated them out our coaches. Um, so we also run our quality um, rating and improvement system through our office. And so our early learning coaches uh, use the opportunity to distribute those packs um, to their providers that they coach. And it was a, a nice um, way to stay connected with them because at that time, we were still pretty much remote. Um, we were still at home uh, and we did notice that we were losing some, some communication with the folks that we were working with because of course they were you know, working really hard to keep their, <clears throat> their environment safe and, and healthy and so the coaches delivered those packs um, <clears throat> with enthusiasm and so much enthusiasm from our providers. Um, so the packs went out um, and some of the feedback that we got from our providers were, um, they were using those packs to embed into their own curriculum they would also use the books uh, that were in those kits in their teaching and, and during their circle time and their reading time. So it helped them connect that um, home to school connection. So when the teacher read the book at home and then the family had the set of books at home as well, it offered um, a connection, uh, you know, seeing that there is a little link between home and school. And so they really appreciated the opportunity to have those resources to embed into their curriculum. The feedback also from parents was um, really remarkable. 
um, some of the comments that we got were that they loved the books that were uh, curated for those packs. Um, they loved incorporating them into their own personal collections. Um, they've also found that they, by using the family guide, they found their own intrinsic motivation to do reading their own read uh, or reading for their own pleasure as an as the adult and caregiver um, and that those reading guides um, help them find patience um, in reading with their children and not getting frustrated um, they learned how to ask questions um, and for their child to hear them ask questions about the stories. They use those books also to look at the pictures in detail and discuss what was happening in the pictures and not just necessarily by the text. Um, they also love the opportunity for the recall strategies that they, they talk about in the family guide. Um, they loved having the, the crayons and the pens, uh, the crayons and the pad in the book as well, the white paper, because what was happening was the parent and the child or the parent and caregiver would read the book and then the child would draw the pictures that they recalled in the story. And so um, it just helped kind of tie this whole reading and creative process all in the same nice little bow. Um, one other comment was I also loved practicing sight words with my child and having her try to find them in the books that we read together. So um, overall, it was a, a huge success. Um, this year, we are also going to be bringing the super um, summer packs back, um, <clears throat> but in a different capacity. Um, we as an organization are offering four pre-kindergarten academies. Um, for children that are in Vallejo, California. And these uh, academies are designed for children that have limited preschool experience that are getting ready to go into kindergarten. So these four weeks, um, they'll be spending with us uh, three hours a day, uh, helping them get ready for school. And then as a going away gift, um, each family will receive one of the super summer packs um, as a, a goodbye and farewell and, and good luck. <laughs> gift. Um, and uh, we are hoping also too that the teachers will use those materials in the classroom as they get ready to get those packs. It's kind of a pre, a bonus, um, bonus curriculum. And then also as a, as a kind of introduction to get them ready for school. So we're really excited that this is coming back again this summer. Um, we also did the fall packs as well and had great feedback from them. So if anyone has any questions about um, what I talked about today, I'll put my contact information in the chat box and feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to um, talk with anyone that would like more information about what we did with those packs. And one last thing, um, I actually used to be Back when I was a preschool teacher, I was a Raising a Reader implementer. Um, and when we had the chance to, that was back in 2003. Um, and so I'm just so excited um, that we have this opportunity to have Raising a Reader and just couldn't talk anything better than uh, what I already have today about the organization and the work that you guys are doing. So thank you so much. Gosh, thank you so much, Michelle. I really appreciate you joining us today and giving us your experience with, uh, with our whole program. I, I just can't tell you how much we appreciate it. Great. Okay, um, I just wanted to open it up uh, to any discussion. I know there's probably questions, so we can do this a couple of different ways. You can feel free to add a chat. I see a couple chats coming, or you can unmute yourself. Michelle has put her contact information in the chat box. So if you need an affiliate, another affiliate perspective, thank you so much for volunteering your um, time and your contact information for all of us. Um, so I also just want to see who else has any questions about the program, the components, the costs, anything at all. You feel free to unmute or put it in the chat box. 
Great, thanks, Kristen. So my colleague Kristen mentioned um, that there's an online video read-alouds on our website that connect the books to, um, I'm sorry, that connect the read the book connects to the books in the bags. Absolutely. Um, I can definitely say more about the educator packs and the cost, and I'm sorry that I missed that. Um, so the educator packs, I'm just gonna go back here a little bit. The educator packs are the complement to the family guides. And what we wanted to do is make sure that those educators have all the materials, except for the crayons and the journal, but they have everything that the families have. So that can really lend itself. If you are a home visitor, you have the materials, especially if you're doing it virtually, you can walk parents, you can walk the grownups through the activities. You could read the same book that the family has, um, or you can take your set on the road. Um, the educator packs come with that learning circle app, come with the downloadable implementer guide, come with the recorded, we will have live trainings throughout June that you can come to live or you can view the recording. So the educator packs are $200 a piece. So any educator pack you want to get, that is a $200 uh, pack. And then just as a reminder, the family packs are $50 each. The social emotional add-on is an, a $10 um, a $10 add-on. Great, thank you. Thank you for that. Absolutely. So just in case you missed it, the Super Summer, these Super Summer packs, here we go. That includes all of these amazing things, $50 each for these packs. For the pre-K and the um, children going into pre-K and K, that's the first pack, and then children entering first or second grade is a second pack. So um, they are $50 each, the social emotional add-on is 10, and the educator pack is 200. Uh, another question, thank you, Christina. If I ordered in bulk, how long does it take to receive the product? That really depends on the time that you get your purchase order into us or your payment. Um, and then we would work with you individually to, to talk about the date that you need it and the turnaround time. So, so it really just depends when you get your purchase order in, of course. Um, I have a feeling we're gonna get a flood of purchase orders in at the same time in June, and then it's just gonna be as soon as we could get it fulfilled. But um, let us know, Christina, I'm gonna put my um, contact information here and then uh, we can definitely um, talk about when you might receive it depending on when your purchase order might be available. Great, these are great questions. Feel free to keep them coming um, or you could unmute yourself. Um, magazine and then for the journal does it have any prompts or is it just blank pages that those are two uh, great questions um we are expecting the shipment of highlights magazine should be in in the next few days so um saran i can make a point to um scan a couple of those pages to have a preview of what that looks like. Um, actually, Highlights might be able to give it to us themselves. Um, that was your first question. And then you had a really good second question. What was the second question? I'm sorry. It was about the journal. Is it the journal. blank or yep. the prompts? Uh -huh. It is blank. The prompts are in the family guide. So we wanted it to just, those are blank pages. There are almost every activity has some sort of prompt to go to your journal and you can respond to a story by this or you know go on a nature walk and collect you know collect five different leaves and paste you know trace them or glue them onto the onto the journal so we wanted that journal just to be you know um, a blank slate to respond to all of the great activities we have in the family guide this this just really looks beautiful i mean it is just really nicely put together we can't thank you enough or the investment that you've put into these kids. Another question, do you need the edu do you need to purchase the educators pack in order to activate the text messaging feature for families? 
Uh, yes, um, that it does come with the educator pack. Um, if you are just interested in the app, you can reach out to us individually and we can find out if that's an a la carte um, option from Guardians Collective who actually runs the app. So um, I'm not saying yes, but I think anything is possible. So if you are just interested in that app, but not all the other pieces of the educator pack, let us know and we can figure out how many families you're serving and um, we, we could certainly customize something for you. Wonderful, okay, thank you again. Thank you, Saran. Awesome. These are great questions. Keep them coming. I'm going to go to our last slide that just has some contact information. Okay. Um, this was a social media post we had from last year from Red Bluff in California. Um, our our rising kindergartner having all of the all of the activities, and he was enjoying them so much. So. If anyone has any other questions, I will stay on this webinar for a few minutes, but you can also feel free to email me at our armstrong at raisingreader.org. If you're ready to get your Super Summer Learning Adventures pack, this is the um, link where you can order them. And of course, let us know if you have any questions or if you need a quote. Um, we're also happy to meet with you individually. So thank you all for joining us this afternoon. I will stay on if you have any questions that you would like to ask privately. Have a great afternoon and thanks for joining us.